Welcome back. In this video, I'm going to show you how to log in as a demo student to check out an assignment that you've created, and then you'll be able to see what it looks like from a student point of view. So let's go to the classwork and create a quick assignment here. I'm just going to call it example. I'm just going to add a file to it. And I'll put this file in there, hit insert. And I'm going to say it's make, it's make a copy for each student. And it's going to go out to all students. I'm going to hit assign. OK, now to take a look and see what that assignment looks like, I'm going to go to people, the people tab. I'm going to invite this student. There's a demo student for each building. I'm going to use the high school demo student as an example. If you start typing it up, you should see it pop up there. I'm going to invite that high school student. OK, now the next step, the easiest way to do this, because now you need to log in as this hypothetical demo student, the best way is to go up here to the upper right hand corner, the three dots. You want to click that, and you want to go to New Incognito Window. And what that'll do is open a brand new Chrome browser that's not logged into Google at all with any account. And so what you do next is go to classroom and once you try to go to classroom it's going to ask you to sign in with an account and this is where you put that demo student account information the username and then you'll need the password the username and password for each building will be sent out in an email so take a look for that in your inbox after you've put that address in there click next and you should be taken to the Fleetwood Area School District sign in page where you have to put it in one more time once you put that password in, click Sign In. And it should open to the Google Classroom page for this demo student. You can see the demo student has already been invited to two other classrooms in the high school. And now I'm joining my classroom. OK, now I'm going to go up to here to Classwork to take a look at what that assignment looks like from the demo student's point of view. OK, now that I'm here, I can see here's the assignment right here. I'm going to click on that. Again, we're looking at it from the student point of view now and you want to encourage the students to always click view assignment. Once the student gets here, the work that they need to actually turn in will show up here. Any other attachments will be down here. So the student then could click on this and take a look at what this is. And here's a, a document I put in Spanish, this worksheet, and they could then fill it out if they needed to and put the answers in there. Let's just put some letters in there as an example. And then when they're finished, they would go up here and they would click Turn In. Then it asks them, it's going to give them this prompt, do you want to turn in your work? Yes, turn in. Again, now you're seeing this all from the student point of view. And you can see now that they have this option to unsubmit if they want to. Um, if not, they're done. They've turned it in. Now let's take a look at what it looks like from the teacher point of view. And to do that, I'm going to go back to the other Chrome browser. Remember, we're still logged in as ourselves you can see it up here in the other Chrome browser so in the incognito browser we're logged in as the demo student but in this browser we're logged in as ourselves so now I'm back in teacher mode here I can go to classwork I can see here's that example uh, assignment right here and you notice I forgot to put it in a topic let's say it did belong right here remember you can always click and drag those assignments as the teacher you have that ability to do that let's say that goes here as part of the next week, now I've arranged that, and that'll show that that rearrangement will show up and be reflected in the the student account also in the student view of Google Classroom. But now, if I want to look at the work, if I want to look at this assignment, when I click on it from the teacher point of view, I can see okay, one's turned in. Let's take a look at that. Okay, now I get that preview of the student work. I can take a look at it here. I can click on it. Now it's going to open up the assignment in a view where I can see the work that was completed by the student. So at this point, there's a lot of different things you can do. You can add comments, give them feedback. You could grade the assignment. You could return it when you're done with those things. Um, there's a lot of different options you have at this point. But this is what it's going to look like now from the teacher view looking at that assignment. So you kind of can see it from both worlds using this demo student account. Um, remember, if you're grading like this, if you have a bunch of students in here with the same assignment, you'll be able to scroll back and forth to the other students work. 
Notice that this is also going to another demo student who hasn't filled it out yet. There's nothing here to look at. But I can scroll back and forth just in this screen, which is nice because you don't have to open up each file one by one. Imagine if you had them email this to you, it would take forever because you'd have to open up all of those documents. In Google Classroom, it's really great to be able to go through those documents rather quickly and give the comments, the feedback here, and grade those assignments if you need to. When you're finished up here, you have the option to return this submission or return multiple submissions. So you could return a lot of documents at once if you chose to do that. Okay, I'm back at the incognito window. I'm back as the student. So if I want to go back to the classes, let's say I'm done looking at this and I want to unenroll this demo student from my class. You could do that by going up to the three dots. Click the three dots right here. Again, remember I'm as I'm in as the student here, this demo student. So I can click unenroll and that will remove the demo student from my class. So when someone else uses the demo student, they won't they won't be showing up in your class um, that's just something you can choose to do or not you could keep the demo student in there all year long if you'd like to but just be aware that if other teachers are using the demo student the when you log in as the demo student there could be multiple multiple classes showing up in the Google Classroom page right here okay I hope that helped you get started using that demo student account to look at your Google Classroom from a student point of view if you have any questions, please email me at kbollendorf at fleetwoodasd.org. And until next time, have a great day.